Can't see you in there, dude. Ooh, what's this? I have priorities, okay. Maybe not good. Howie! Okay, calm down. I'm sorry. Alright, friends. Welcome back to another episode of our Control Let's Play. Uh, in the previous episode, we... Uh, finished escorting Wells, the medic, uh, over to his buddy Horowitz. But it turns out Horowitz, the, uh, the soldier man, didn't quite make it and his HRA got damaged. So we had to uh, sadly put him down. Uh, but after that, we finally made our way into the Panopticon. Here we are. This is the place. This is the thing. And uh, there's a, a TV running loose, uh, going wild, and probably going to break the place. So we got to go tame that and befriend it. And uh, then we'll go find Dylan, who also seems to have broken out of his cell. So, yeet. Uh, if you're ready for that, make sure you uh, dab on that subscribe button. Turn notifications on, yeet that like button. Help me reach my goal of hitting 100 subscribers by the end of 2021, and we will get on with it. Yeet. The question is, do we go... Where do we go? Yeah, we, we gotta go over to the fourth floor like the objective says, but... Where do we go to get all this stuff, you know? Oh, that's dangerous, turns out. Uh, supernatural dash powers do in fact break handrails, so if you value your life, use caution. Oh, hey! I'm really glad that that did not hit me. I realized a little late that that was a risky move, but hey, all's well that ends well, right? They, they split up perfectly. I was really trying to line that up on multiple, I'll have you know. Yay! Can I? I can redact him. Nice. Yeet. Let's see if he'll uh, go explode on him. Go, 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 go. Oh, he did his best. I'll give him that. I respect it. I respect the effort. He did provide distraction as well. The, the whole point of that was probably to uh, let me skip that fight or uh, just run past. But we kind of we kind of threw that away by walking into it. But now we know we didn't miss anything on any section there. Seize accelerator. Oh, that might be useful. Seventy-one percent. I was wondering if we'd be able to speed that up. Definitely don't want that or that. It might be a good idea to keep some things around, but maybe not all of them. Multimedia, oldest house. I don't know if I got to hear this whole thing. Yeah, 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 we did. That was previous episode. That is the post box that we read so much about. I think that, that caused paralysis. Can we go in? Probably not. Basket. I didn't read about that one. A fan? I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure I did. Toy sledgehammer. He's all the way- Dylan's all the way on floor 5. Also wait, floor 4 is AI containment? What- what the hell is in 3? I have so many questions. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. He killed people! Right? We, uh, we found... We found a uh, document talking about P6 and how they don't have anyone to, like, properly raise him. So I imagine growing up in a place like this would, would mess up anybody. Hey, you good, buddy? Chillin'? We got a pro... Yeah, them, them's hiss are pretty much everywhere. That seems like a problem. Hello? Is, any, is anyone there? Yo, it's the fridge. Hello. What are you doing in there? 
Oh, thank God. But someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. Yeah. My super blade never showed up. <laughs> oh, no. Me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. He's... I can't stare at this thing much longer. He's probably got a pee, dude. Fridge duty. Wait, I don't want to activate it, but... I want to know what the actual objective is there. Uh, assist the agent in the Panopticon cell after Dylan has been found. After Dylan has been found. Maybe we just tell Dylan to sit in front of it. That's, that's kind of funny, though. Poor fella. That was the, uh, the fridge we read about a couple episodes ago, uh, where uh, the building fell on it and the, the drawings stayed on. I don't remember, really remember what else happened there. What else that object did. I'll save you, buddy. Yeet. Feel better? I feel better. Yeet. Get in there. Man, I was really hoping that would get all of them. Kind of like, like that one did. Yeet. Got another lower level here. Anything fun? Not really seeing nothing. So let's move on. Fortified Unit 716, Section 2. No, don't close. I'm going to be right over it. Oh, no, it's not going to close. That's, that's, that's pretty yucky. You're doing great, buddy. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. What is it doing? Hello? Plus a weight cleanse? Is that the right word? Yeet. Where's it going? Wait a minute. Did my gravity just change? Am I walking on a wall right now? It's kind of what that looked like. What is that, supposed to be the Cooper belt or something? I don't know how you say that word. Since when have we start- I, I can't turn my camera, by the way. I wonder if that's- oh, there we go. We are definitely on the wall. I, I really don't remember if they, uh, like the board used that terminology before. Or, uh, oops. Uh, so they're just not taking damage, that's cool. Yo, it's Salvador! Oh no. That reach is going to be so sad. I kind of want to take care of these dudes before we worry about Salvador at all. Oh, they're sitting ducks. You know? Or floating ducks, either way. Same, uh, same basic principle. Yeet. I'm sure it's fine, it's fine. Yeet. You wanna throw stuff? I'll throw stuff. Let's go. Can do this all day. Yeet. Oh, he refilled already? Okay. I didn't even really have time to charge a full, uh, a full pierce. Yeet. 
Can't see you in there, dude. Ooh, what's this? I have priorities, okay. Maybe not good. Howie! Okay, calm down. I'm sorry. Oh, that's bad. That's quite bad. Because now I have to deal with that guy before I can go clean anything. Or go uh, heal anything. Leave me alone, you fuck! Yay! How do you like it? Oh, I didn't see him really. Oh. Winding up. Okay, that is taking it, it is taking off a full bar even if he keeps pulling it up. It's doing a little damage past it too. Yay. That Hell yeah. Salvador, the head of security. That was intense. The team didn't stand a chance against the hiss. No one here does. I take back what I said, they're all a bunch of bitches. Yeet. Now what did we get? Uh, ammo refund chance on hit with spin shatter and grip. Uh, rate of fire for spin. Damage while aiming. Blast radius on charge and surge. And pierce. So we still have two different types of guns to get? What? What? That's crazy. Bridge duty enemy within personnel protection. Eh. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Lin Salvador. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True, true. Okay. TV. Another object. Uh, Ocelot's anchor. Uh, the crew of the White Ocelot first an first encountered a strange spherical s phenomenon, s phenomenon while fishing in the redacted. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. Hovered just off the bow of the ship, the crew redacted by throwing a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after the, the vessel lost structural integrity, the ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing ves vessel called the redacted rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the way that Ocelot's last known coordinates, redacted, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided by handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the redacted to the U.S. port of redacted. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the bureau via the redacted. Interesting. So where was the orb through all that when we saw the anchor? This can only end well. I assume this will give us the power to go reach the anchor. It almost looked like a face for a second. Use the TV slash babysitter. I mean, that's not wrong. Levitate slash superhero over the obstacle. Superman! Use levitate to complete the astral plane challenge. Okay, how do we do that? Oh! How long can I do this? Oh, so even if my power runs out, I can I, I still don't take damage. Wow. Yeah, I don't want nothing to do with any of those things. I really hate them. They're gross. Press while levitating to fall, while falling to slow fall. Spacebar while falling to slow fall, safely controlling the descent. Okay. That's a lot of spacebar presses. Do I need 
to bother with you? Not really, but I can. Yeet. I think I can make it there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I didn't charge it. Get redacted, nerd. Yeah. Newsflash slash APB. What? The hiss slash static attempts to reach us. Our broadcast must survive. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. So that was the uh, the black pyramid surrounded by red stuff, which is presumably hiss. Theretofore, we should really, really do something about that. But first, Dylan. Imagine just dodging your homie for a surprise hug like that. If your homie goes in for a surprise hug, you gotta let it happen, you know? Alright. Wait. Maybe I'm not running on the wall like I thought I was. No, that definitely looks like floor over there, but so does up here. You know? Like, that looks like floor, but that also looks like floor. So I'm just kidding. That also looks like floor. Uh huh? What? TV ruins everything, man. I'm sure there was something in there that I missed, but I couldn't be bothered to run around in that, that uh, mindfuckery. Yeet. Now, fifth floor. Oh, hello. That's enough of that, please. Thank you. Now, on to the elevator so we can go to floor five. Astral constructs, upgrade spin, upgrade shatter. Construct charge holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast. One more corrupted sample, a couple thousand more source, and we shall be Gucci. We can go to level six. I guess that the six is the max. Wow. Shifting fragments, corrupted samples. All sorts of fun stuff. Don't know why my nose is so itchy, but I hate it. You're doing great, buddy. Actually, I wanted to remember. I, I wanted to look up what um, the fridge did. I forgot. Uh, but anyways, Bendikoff TV. No containment procedures required while bound. A CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electrics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of redacted. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. I see report redacted for the result tested with prime candidate redacted. The object is currently bound by redacted. The object was first discovered in a local news story from redacted Kansas. A figure had been seen redacted over buildings. The Bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named Redacted had bound himself to the object. Mr. Redacted was detained, see case 39-HQ-656, and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. Nice. Uh, case files. Home safe hot. No, these are objects of power. Altered items. Refrigerator. It didn't really say what this fridge did. Just that the owner couldn't stop looking at it and the uh, drawings remained on it. 
unreasonably well. Oh, hey. Check both sides of your elevator, folks. Wait. So I missed an elevator here? Yo, Fred! Let me in! Can I go over to that spot? Oh, yeah. Duh. Of course I can. Yeet. Flying's pretty convenient, isn't it? Yeah, we fucked up that wall. Remote thought. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, hello? What did I just get new new physics powers? Uh, that's empty as well. Probably not ideal. Oh. Pram supplement. Uh, smoking pram AI thirteen dash KE supplementary material interview with a redacted conducted with the aid of a French translator on November seventeenth, two thousand nine, in a retirement home in redacted France. Where were you, August twelfth, uh, August second, nineteen seventy nine, Mister Beaulieu? They didn't redact that. Uh, RB translated from French. So specific a date, as if I could ever. F I'm sorry. So specific a date. Ah ha ha ha. As if I could ever forget. I was called to fire to a fire at the Rue Redacted. What did you see? Smoke, white like a new pope rising up from the windows of a small shop. I sent my men in. I was fire chief back then. What happened next? We pulled the shop owner out. He was already dead, smoke in his lungs. We found the source afterwards. A baby's walker. Poured water onto it, but that only encouraged the smoke. We pulled the carriage outside. Smoke kept shooting out. A crowd gathered. People said it was a miracle, but I disagreed seemed to me like more of an omen. We brought the strange thing back to the fire hall. Some Americans like yourself came later and took it away. Interesting. Interesting. That seems to not be present as it should be. Really glad that's so secure. I'm kind of just curious if I can reach up there, because we got real close last time. Eh. Eh. No. Sadly not. Unless... Uh, I wonder if that's what we were intended to do. Okay, well, we know how to do that, but I kind of wanted to see what... Uh, was over here. Because there's, uh, this doorway. Which we still can't do anything to. Okay, so this is the spot we've been to, like, three times. We made our way all the way around. That's what matters. So, we are going to go ahead and do this if I can just stand on stuff, please. Thank you. Please? Yeet. Let's check the rest of this. Nothing over there. Uh, nothing over here. Or on that that I can see. A little bit of healing from the dude I killed earlier, but nah, that's about it. Yo, it's a swan. Oh, that's the swan. Nice. The one that was yeeting stuff off of it. That's kind of funny. You good in there, buddy? See, this is why we read all the things. Because now I have context on the things that... The random things I'm seeing. That one I don't have any on. Spin rate of fire boost at tier 4. 
Pretty cool. A water cooler? I hear another one of those uh, spiky things. Or just an alarm. He's so close. Is he though? Buddy, you in there? Oh, it's like an airlock. Bring our friends. We got <laughs> we got the three stooges with us, just in case we need some com comedic relief. I think we're good. Oh, we can just drop with F. Okay. It was that a tier six? Nope, just five. Launch energy cost reduction. Heck yeah, bud. What was it? Hear me? Yes. Jesse, are you there, Jesse? Hello. Emily. He's gone. Dylan isn't here. Yo, that's a big room. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse oh, I see him. Dylan's right. Here oh. With us. He just walked Thought in. I saw someone there. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. All I that? To see my brother. Just to get told to go back? Come on, dude. Dylan fade in observation. 9.30 a.m. Breakfast is brought. 11.54 a.m. Gets out of bed. Uses toilet. Returns to bed. 11.57 a.m. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff do so. 12 p.m. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. 12.02. Eats lunch. 2.38. Uses toilet. Uh, 4.03. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. 4.07. Becomes upset. Throws lunch tray at glass. 4.09. Sedated. Crew clean cell. TV is turned off. 612 comes to asks for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. 616 p.m. sleeps? Question mark? That's, uh... No way to live a life, dude. How long has he been doing that? We reach slash tether through control points into the bureau slash house. Nexus slash threshold slash area codes allows for access. You can translocate fast travel construct through the control points. Well, thank you. That was the right one. Yeah. Why are we getting that now, though? Bruh. I'm still annoyed that Wells had a, a level 9 security clearance. Oh, the person. I thought I saw. I thought that was a person. And he had like big wisps of smoke coming up. Mm hmm. Is there a control point in here? Yes, there is. Wait, I thought there was. Maybe not. What do you got? Entropic Echo. Unbreakable. Nice. Hmm. Anything else look fun? Not really seeing it. Oh. All right. I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. He's got so I much to do. I want to talk about Jessie, her sister. Oh. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. Uh -huh. When I was little, I mean. Mm -hmm. Back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hope she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. Mm -hmm. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. 
if she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? Because she's a coward. Because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. Mm-hmm. I don't think so that's accurate, but okay. Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? So they're trying to find me? I don't remember. What about family friends? At a boy, ain't no sweet. Ain't no snitch. I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Yeah. Dylan, wait, we're not. End of session. Laser beam physics chart calculation sketch. Oh, were they shooting lasers into his cell? What's that doing here? And what, we're gonna have to come back here when we get level 6 clearance to see what if we want to see what's in there. That is to say, that chest. Come on, let me uh, move it along, move it along, please. Thank you. Uh, and the control point is way the heck down there. I probably should have tried to go to the third floor. That was all blotted out. We'll do that later. But first, we gotta see what's up with Dylan, dude, after we spend our points. Levitation duration. Press C while levitating to slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. Ground slam damage, ground slam damage, ground slam damage. Or duration. Well, I like the idea of being able to fly forever, so I kinda wanna just do that. Ground slam, we can't really afford. So I guess we go to Central Executive and see Dylan. What's he gonna say? He's well, he's probably gonna be pretty upset, but I think he's just uh, doesn't know how long it took us to find this place because evidently it was what seventeen years. Oh my God! Did she have to write everything in her made-up gibberish code? Yes. Fucking Marshall. Hey, you gonna you you gonna be okay? I, I told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Wow. My rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. Mm -hmm, Six mm -hmm. plus me. Remus, that makes Isaac, seven. Joe, Guy, Hepton, Stone, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Mm -hmm. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prep for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. All right, all right. Pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? What the hell was in those pouches? The squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Marish, and I won't let them stay hiss. That's awful nice. Uh, sure. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh. Fuck, don't get me started on Black Rock. <laughs> you know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making the worst. Quarry. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, As there always is. The quarry's got a good view of the night sky. You know, me and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. What Should we tell him about, about Salvador? as much as anybody I guess head of research loves to hear himself talk all of those science types absolutely do uh, yeah he's been acting a little bit psycho recently although HR told me not to use that word <laughs> Every there were complaints finding darling will lead us to the answers but if he's completely lost it then what help could he be I have the Are assumption that we're never gonna find darling do you work with Rangers not often Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero uh -huh. response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the bureau. 
They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. That's awkward. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. Now, down in it's like it's his job or something. Just like any other tool. Lab coats mine black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Mm -hmm. Why don't you drink it? Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. <laughs> I didn't want to know. Chunks of what, though? What do you think of Marshall? I have so many more Marshall. questions. Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically, that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. Good luck trying to I stop what her. What she find so interesting in the quarry? I have an idea. A couple ideas, actually. There were a couple places I couldn't go in the quarry. Well, fine then. Watch yourself out there. What is this? The jukebox. Ask Arish about the jukebox token. We'll do that later. We got. We got. Where's Dylan? You, you have fun with that. Give me one second. Uh, timeline of events. To examine... Uh, wait, analysis of his threat part four. To examine the evasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Uh, establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary, preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does Hiss resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? And what is their ultimate goal? The outside world, a cross-dimensional destination. Refer to redacted for full report. Hmm. <laughs> Dylan questioning, where the hell is he? It's happening. After all these years, but he's not here. He's here. He's not. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Mm -hmm. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. That'd be nice. Maybe he was a prime candidate, or maybe it's Polaris protecting him. Something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems. More in control, more present. And then before his interference. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. That, uh, that little flash was, uh, not convinced, or not, uh, encouraging. Speech analysis. Uh, if we understand the hiss to be a force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express the re that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common used word, the, the most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a uh, you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You want these waves. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the Hiss are referring to? Does the Hiss believe humanity, possibly all non-Hiss life, wants to join it? To be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this probably, is this possibly the Hiss stating how they arrived here or an indication of its age? There is clear intention in the words dismissing the incantation as nonsense as some of my colleagues recommended is beyond idiotic. Refer to redacted for full report. 
Damn, tell him. Tell him, Emily. Arish. Not the tokens. Uh. Uh. This one. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll save and then we'll go talk to Dylan. And then that'll be where we end the video. Astral Constructs, new stuff? Whoa! So we can buy more tokens. Interesting. See you soon. I can't, I can't float in here. That's bogus. Apparently the director restored HRA production. This. Hey, I put a bullet in your head. That's my brother. What was post-it notes? That's no one's brother anymore. He's the enemy, plain and simple. Uh, this is a, a very strange uh choice of decor. Sticky note complaint. Uh, to whom it may concern. In case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will, I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. Yeah, you can make, dude. Just pick up the post-it notes, dude. Is this not Dylan's office? Uh, How do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish uh, got them out. Right, How do they not know Arish? A security guard leading rangers? I wish this map was a little more specific, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, DMCA no! Haha, <laughs> we turned them off. No DMCA for this uh, YouTuber. Hey, buddy. Hmm. You good, buddy? How you been? That's Dylan. Indeed. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. Hey, well, he was lucid earlier. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. Wait. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. You sure your name ain't Gomer Pyle? Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped that, for. That's uh yeah. It's good to say those words. I want to say them. I'd rather you didn't. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. <laughs> if he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Orange peel! Shit! Orange peel! Shit. He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. So he was talking about Polaris. Long time for it was. We build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. 
The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. Bureau they things. used it. Classic they Bureau. Found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. Ah, uh, so we just shut it again. The projector's here. When your worms of tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. Is it? I don't know if I agree. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. I could say the same you for you, sir. Hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Is it? Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Hmm? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Oh, is okay, that? Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. So the Polaris is a, a copy of a copy of a copy of what? The hiss? I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Me neither, but I want to know why there's a red mark above him. Can we talk? I mean, we're talking now. I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in ordinary. Before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me i was the only child a girl my name was jesse dylan faden what but then the bureau came and caught me brought me back here locked me up is this going to turn into some kind of mind game our names jesse some switcheroo dylan they could be Girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. It was all Don't only me this whole time? Weird. I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are worn through time. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. There's more? Maybe Dylan's still in there. I'm, I'm invested at this point. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just, just now. now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. Well, that was Ati that did that. You okay. Were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail, and there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way, forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. True. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted, and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game, <laughs> and it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. I mean, and partially true. Again. I don't think it's that boring. 
Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. Pretty catchy. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. But his face is creepy. Something, something, something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. The Will this ever end? Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? It can't go on forever, I'll tell you that much. I just had an interesting Another one? Dream. Bruh. You gotta live in the present. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Oh really? Uh, that's what I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. <laughs> I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. Wow. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. True. That he was horrifying. Also true. But also, many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. For the record, that will never happen. I'll do my Not best. As long as I'm alive. Bruh, how many more dreams does he have? It's saying this like we have a mission to do this, or maybe that just means new. Exclusive to spin. Accuracy rate of fire would be good for that. More damage while aiming. Yeet. It's fine. I, did, I meant to check Maybe missions, I, I got distracted. Myself. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? Now is when he's not gonna talk about dreams. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Sister, I was hoping anyways. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. True. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he oh, door. told me that there are many worlds. Side by side, on top of each other. Some inside of others. Whoa. In one world... There was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. Whoa. Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. Wait, is he at them at the same I time or be shifting between them? I don't know. I wanted to bring the hiss there. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't. Like the idea. What did he know? Yeah. I'm not wild about the idea myself. Bruh. I gotta end this video. It's been like almost an hour already. Uh. Okay, one more. Here we go again. Once more with feeling. Mm -hmm. With gumption. Let me guess. You want to tell me about your dream? Yes. Yes. In fact, I'm having a dream right now. Whoa. Oh. That's new. In this Parallel dream, processing. I'm standing in the corner watching Jesse and Dylan talk about this very dream. 
this very dream. He said just now. And repeated it again now. Oh, it's me. I'm standing it's me. There and watching, and that's all I can do. I'm in the corner. It's as if I'm trapped there. I I feel the same. And that's all I have to say about that dream. Okay, okay, villain. That's good. Is he still in there? Or is this the hiss playing mind games? Why not both? I don't know. Oh, he's done. Yeet, we got through it. Thank God. All right. We can end on a win. Yeet. Well, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for sticking through it if you got this far. Uh, I appreciate you. Uh, if you did like what you saw, make sure you uh, yeet that subscribe button. Turn notifications on. Dab on that like. Uh, come check me out when I stream on every weekday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. Or uh, come see me in the next one. Yeet.